You know, I try to warn these little short seller boys. I try to warn them. I told them they're gonna get spanked. I told them this over a week and a half ago. I told them the stock market is ready to explode. I told them that these earnings are gonna be unbelievable. And these short sellers, they just didn't listen. They just didn't listen. And now they are absolutely getting spanked on their ass. Oh my word, they are getting spanked so hard. Oh my goodness, Facebook stock today up over 10%. And I'm gonna explain to you guys exactly why short sellers you know, are gonna continue to get spanked and exactly what you don't wanna do when short selling companies. Chipotle, a lot of people have been thinking they're smart sh uh, shorting Chipotle stock recently. Oh, they're gonna keep messing up this and that. And Chipotle stock up 25% today. AMD stock, you know, a stock that I've never been a fan of, but I would never dare to short AMD stock. This stock was up to over 12% as I've taken the screenshot. I'm pretty sure today it closed up over 14%. AMD shorts have gotten absolutely destroyed. I wanna show you this chart here for just a second, okay? This shows you S&P 500 short interest, percentage of float since 2007, right? If you look here, look at, you know, somewhere between 2009 and 2010, right? The market bottoms in March of 2009. At that time, look at what the short interest was. People were thinking the markets are gonna go way south. They were so far behind the ball and short sellers got absolutely destroyed, okay? Now, let's look at some more stocks. Baidu, up three plus percent today. This is the Chinese Google, as I call it. Up over 5% after hours. Short sellers in that one have gotten absolutely destroyed. Amazon, some people think, oh man, Amazon's overvalued this and that. I would not dare to short Amazon stock, no matter what share price it's at up over 6% after hours. It was up $57 a share today, and now after hours is up over $93. Who knows, it could go up over $100 a share uh, tomorrow. Unbelievable, guys. Short sellers again, absolutely spanked now, and they will continue to get spanked. They, they, they have these little hypotheticals that the economy is weak or something when it's like, look at all the factual information. All the factual information that says the economy is very strong. Taxes have been lower. That's a massive boost to every single corporation out there right now, as far as the American corporations go. This makes all their earnings look, you know, even more unbelievable. If we were even in like, you know, a kind of a weak economy right now, the numbers would still look unbelievable just because of the tax benefits. But when you have a strong economy, strong business results, on top of a lot of these businesses are expanding, on top of tax benefits, oh my goodness, guys, you're in, a, you're in like a perfect storm situation for these earnings of companies to look absolutely Absolutely unbelievable and that's exactly what's going on and shorts are starting to get spanked in such a big way now we're you know that's the first mistake shorts are making the second mistake shorts are making is the fact that shorts don't really make money over the long term they don't why because a short seller they need to make money in the short term okay a long-term investor we can buy shares in a company we believe in for all these different reasons okay we can buy those shares if the shares go down in the short term Okay, we can lower cost basis, we can buy more, we can wait it out until our, our thesis comes true and those shares go up over time, right? And you know, maybe three to 5% of the time we're wrong over the long term. Okay, we can deal with that, okay? Not every single time would be right, but if three to 5% were wrong, we can deal with that, right? The problem with these short sellers are they need everything to go down short term because they gotta pay interest on those short positions, okay? And they're in a position when these, stocks, when these stocks start to go higher and they go higher and higher, they have to cover and take massive losses. Think about if you're short Amazon stock right now. You, you were short at Amazon last week or whatever. Think about how much you're gonna be down already and you're paying interest on that. And the worst part is every day that Amazon goes up, you, your, your position just get, gets, gets worse and worse and worse. And remember, you can lose unlimited amount of money when you short shares. You are going against the system and it's the stupidest thing you could ever possibly do. Shorting shares can be phenomenal if you know exactly when the economy is going to go south in a huge way. Like if you were shorting shares in let's say 2000, the, you know, the end of 2007, you start shorting shares because you believe we're going to go into a huge crash. 
If you happen to do that and you got out right at the beginning of 2009, you could have made a lot of money. But the issue is people don't look at the factual information, okay? People don't look at the factual information and these shorts get killed. And say they do good on one position, okay? Say they, they actually nail it on one position. They do good on one stock, right? The issue is then they try to find the next one and they get absolutely destroyed in that next one because it ends up not going their way because remember, they're betting against an entire executive management team. They're betting against an entire board of directors. They're betting against the fact that the stock market goes up over time. They're betting against the fact that government wants companies to do good. They're betting against literally the entire system. When you're betting against the entire system, you, man, you better know what you're doing. And most short sellers have no clue what they're doing. They do not know how to look at factual information and decipher it. Because if they did, they would understand that there's deals like insane out there right now in the stock market. And they're going to continue to get slaughtered and continue to get slaughtered right now. And that's the way it's going to be. And a lot of times short sellers, right? They'll think they got such a smart short on. I remember I was investing in a company named uh, Annie's, okay? This Annie's company. It was Their biggest customer was Whole Foods. They had a lot of, um, you know, organic products and things like that, like macaroni and cheese and pastas and all types of stuff, cereals and whatnot. And this company, right, it started to weaken a bit because whole sales, with, uh, you know, with sales were weakening a bit. This was like four or five years ago, all right? So short star sellers start to short these shares because they think, oh, you know, it's going to start going down big time. You know, this is a high PE company. Uh, Whole Foods shares are, you know, uh, you know, starting to go down and Whole Foods sales are starting to go down. Whole Foods is starting to weaken. We're going to make a killing on shorting these shares. And all of a sudden, a few months later, General Mills ends up coming in and buying out Annie's for a 37% premium and short sellers got absolutely destroyed. They thought they were so smart betting that short term Aeneas was going to go down because of valuation concerns and this and that. And then General Mills comes in and buys them out and they get absolutely destroyed. That's another huge reason that short sellers lose money the majority of the time because they'll bet on a company and maybe their thesis is correct. Maybe that company is overvalued. But the fact is you're fighting against the market trends and you're fighting against the chance that that company could get acquired by another company at a big premium. It's not even worth the risk. It is not even worth the risk. And, um, you know, that's just what it is, guys. And these short sellers are getting spanked right now. They'll continue to get spanked, and that's just the way it is. I try to warn them. I try to warn them last week, you know, but, um, you know, it is what it is. So let me know, anyways, what you guys think about all this, what's going on out there in the market. Um, you know, what, what shares are you buying out there? I'd love to hear from you guys. Do you own any of the shares of these companies that have shot up over the past few days? I would love to hear from you guys. As always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.